Do you feel like your car is being robbed of horsepower and acceleration? If so, you may have a back pressure problem caused by a clogged exhaust or a bent inner pipe. The test used to diagnose this problem is an exhaust back pressure test. The tools you're going to need to perform this procedure include safety glasses, mechanic gloves, no two sensor wrench, a 3 8 drive ratchet, an extension, a homemade O2 sensor adapter or a brand name adapter, and a vacuum gauge. There's a couple different options you have for adapters. You can use a name brand vacuum gauge back pressure gauge combo kit which comes with the O2 sensor adapter for about $150 or you can create your own out of an old O2 sensor. No matter what adapter you choose, you just have to make sure that there is a tight fit in between the adapter and the O2 sensor hole. Alright, here's how to make your own back pressure adapter out of a O2 sensor. You see this one's been cut here. I'm going to take it apart, remove the porcelain from the bottom piece, like so. Now it is empty. You take this fitting. Thread it in, braze this together right here, and you attach your vacuum line, and you got your back pressure adapter. To start this procedure, you have to first locate the O2 sensor on the exhaust manifold. After locating the O2 sensor, you must first disconnect the electrical connection. Once you have done that, you can then take your O2 sensor wrench and loosen the sensor. Once the sensor is loose, you can then remove the sensor. This here is what the O2 sensor looks like when it is removed from the car. First step of the procedure is to put the adapter into the O2 sensor hole. Once the adapter is snug, you can then hook up the vacuum hose and gauge. After that is complete, you can then start the vehicle and allow the RPMs to stabilize. Now that the gauge is stabilized, you can see that the back pressure is less than 1 PSI, which is within spec. There are two test procedures that must be performed to make sure back pressure remains under 1 PSI. The first one is revving the engine up to 2500 RPMs and holding it steady. If you take a look at the gauge, you can see that it is still under 1 PSI, so it is still within spec. The second way to test this is to Snap the throttle shut and make sure that the press back pressure remains under 1 PSI. As you can see, the back pressure remained under 1 PSI, so the back pressure is still within spec. 
to simulate a clogged exhaust, we stuffed rags in the tailpipe. And if you take a look at the gauge, you notice the needle is over 1 PSI, which means there's an issue with the back pressure. Now that the back pressure test has been completed, all you have to do is reinstall the O2 sensor. This video has properly demonstrated how to perform a back pressure test. Thank you for watching.